Today I have an exclusive 3060 Ti leak that you're not going to want to miss. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So recently an anonymous source got into contact with me and started sharing all sorts of information on the upcoming RTX 3060 Ti, which I believe the embargoes lift on either December 1st or December 2nd. But in any case, let's go ahead and take a look at a video that was absolutely incredible that I got sent, and then we'll talk about the specs, performance, and price of this card compared to the upcoming ARC 6700 series GPUs from AMD. So the video I was sent appears to be a full unboxing of a Gigabyte RTX 3060 Ti, and I'm not going to be showing the entire video, but I will show you pieces of it and I gotta say before you watch this it is just absolutely hilarious so let's get right into it now this video starts off with a guy in a leather jacket and I just couldn't believe what I was seeing here but he goes to the oven and you'll never believe what he pulls out in RTX 3060 Ti this isn't a troll I cannot believe what I'm looking at here but then he goes ahead to proceed and unbox the thing and show it fully on camera and you know I can't give up my source here and I'm not going to show you the full video and I'm going to have to blur out the serial numbers so that nobody gets in trouble here but I just thought this video was so funny I cannot believe that he actually is in his kitchen with a leather jacket much like Jensen was when they released the RTX 3080 and 3070 I actually burst out laughing when I pulled this thing out but you know this video it honestly shows that yes the 3060 Ti is real it's coming very shortly and you know if all the specs turn out to be true and the price this is going to be a really really good card but as you can see he unboxes the card pulls the whole thing out and front of the camera and it looks a whole lot like the RTX 3070 gigabyte gaming OC card. In fact, I think it might be the exact same size. It looks like it's about two slots, maybe like two point something slots. So maybe potentially a slightly smaller cooler, but to my eye, that does look like the exact same cooler as I do have an RTX 3070 gigabyte gaming OC that looks pretty much identical. And the specs of this 3060 Ti should be very, very close to the 3070 as well. And speaking of specs, recently video cards published all of them over on their website of a manly RTX 3060 Ti by the way there will be links to all my sources in the description below and if we take a look here it apparently has 4864 CUDA cores a base clock of 1410 megahertz with a boost clock of 1665 megahertz which means there will probably be quite a bit of overclocking potential in these cards 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory just like the RTX 3070 running at 14 gigabits per second on a 256 bit bus for a total bandwidth of 448 gigabytes per second and a total graphics power of 200 watts which by the way that is 20 watts lower than the RTX 3070 likely due to the 1024 less shaders and because it does have 1024 less shaders that means that the RTX 3070 should have roughly 21% more CUDA cores and I think that you know like in my last video I'm going to stick to I believe it's going to have roughly 15% slower performance than the RTX 3070 which you know that makes it a really really good option at what is apparently going to be $400. So yeah, for $400 to get a card that's only 15% slower than an RTX 3070, that's really, really good. And the reason why I came to the 15% slower conclusion is because, you know, just because the 3070 has 21% more cores, and they might even be running slightly faster, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to scale perfectly. I mean, if you take a look at the RTX 3090 that has 20% more cores than the 3080, yet it's only 10% faster. So it doesn't scale perfectly. And on top of that, I've gotten some other confirmation from various other sources that it will be somewhere around Around roughly 15% slower. So again, at 400 bucks, 15% slower looks like a really good deal. And I think it's going to give AMD a really hard time because I believe the RX 6700 and 6700 XT will be coming in at around 400 to $450. They potentially might even decrease the price after seeing this card as I'm not entirely sure if they were ready for an RTX 3060 Ti, at least not at $400. And, um, you know, while those cards are looking really good, and I estimate that the 6700 XT will be only slightly slower than the RTX 3070, in the 6700 only a little bit slower than that well i mean if even if they're only 10 percent slower than the 3070 if you're trying to charge say 450 dollars for an rx 6700 xt and it's maybe even only five percent faster than the 3060 ti yeah sure you'll get an extra four gigabytes of vram as the 6700 xt should have 12 gigabytes of vram but you know i don't think that's really good enough to sway enough people over and i think they're gonna have to cut prices but we'll just have to wait and see i mean every single card that's being sold right now is being 
being bought no matter what the price is pretty much. So they might not change the price whatsoever. We'll just have to wait and see. But again, once stock stabilizes, I think that the 3060 Ti is going to end up being one of the best purchases of this generation because in my opinion, the 3060 Ti is what the 3070 should have been. It's very, very fast. It'll probably be faster than a 2080 Super, which is very impressive. And you know, it's only coming in at $400, which is pretty much in line with where a 70 class card should land today if you take a look at say the GTX 1070 because the 1070 came in at I believe $380 back then so uh, you know according to inflation that should be you know just over $400 I believe it's $412 today could be a little bit off there so a $400 3060 Ti that is giving you the rough type of performance of a 3070 that sounds really really good to me and I think it's actually going to be a very good purchase even though it only has 8 gigabytes of VRAM still I still think that that price to performance is going to be very very good but hey that's just what I think what do you think about these 3060 Ti leaks let me know your thoughts in the comments below and of course I'll see you in the next video if you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like every time you do so Nvidia and Intel drop prices also if you want to see more click here you won't be disappointed